My name is Patricia Lear, and as a nurse, an educator, and a More Call Me board member, I have been privileged to participate in the Stroll for Wellbeing. And as a facilitator, I've witnessed changes in our participants, whether they be veterans or caregivers or people who have survived cancer. This site is actually the zigzag bridge. It's one of the stops, one of the pauses in the stroll for well-being. The message of the bridge is that you can't always see where you're going, that when you start up, down a path, sometimes the end isn't in sight and sometimes you're surprised by the end. It's a very meaningful message for those who participate in the stroll. I think it's incumbent on all of us in healthcare to think about ways that we can promote wellness and improve patient care in ways that may be new to us um, and in some ways that, that might involve very old technologies, uh, but taking a new look at them and figuring out ways that they can improve healthcare. And hopefully this will be a, a case people can point to a few years from now and say, you know, at Murakami they really had an interesting idea and put it to use and thousands if not hundreds of thousands of patients are better for it. But participating in this program and walking through these gardens has been an amazing, amazing experience. It has made me think, it has made me write, it has helped me to figure out the next steps in my life. Now, I got to joy and all of a sudden, you know, you start feeling good. You know, it just changes your whole perspective on life. It changes you as a person. I've been in pretty bad shape since 1969, and yet out of the dozens of shrinks I've had, this program has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. But when I get upset, I think of that waterfall right over here, and I just calm down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.